Assume that a sample is used to estimate a population mean. Find the margin of error, ME, that corresponds to a sample size of 16 with a mean of 48.3 and a standard deviation of 7.4 at a confidence level of 90%. We're told to report the ME accurate to one decimal place because the sample statistics, the sample mean and the sample standard deviation, are presented with this accuracy. Don't do any preliminary rounding, um, but the critical value may be rounded to three decimal places. So, the formula for margin of error, ME equals T star, that T critical value, times S over the square root of N, which is our standard error. We will do these calculations on our calculator. To get the critical value, it's second vars to pull up the distribution menu and inverse t, which is number four. And we'll put in the area under the curve up to our critical value, which in our case is 0.95. And we'll put in the degrees of freedom. Since n is 16, the degrees of freedom are 15, always n minus one. And this will give us our critical value. Now you could, if you wanted to, round this to three decimal places, or we could just go ahead and use it as is by now multiplying by S, our sample standard deviation, which is 7.4, divided by the square root of N, and our N is 16. When we hit enter, we see that we get 3.2 when we round that to one decimal place. And remember, the question asked us to round to one decimal place because the sample statistics were given with that accuracy. So the margin of error for this problem is 3.2.